What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Slackers. Very quick plug. Later today, a few hours after this video goes live, the next raid boss is going down. If you want a chance to participate, you're more than welcome to. All you have to do is click the link in the description to the Discord. Get the information. It's simple. I'm gonna set. I have a set time. It's gonna be like 3 p.m. Central, and then um, yeah, I'll I'll I'll. Roughly about half hour before it starts, I'll send out the information about like the arena ID and the password and everything, and then just come join. Whether you can only stay for a couple matches or if you could stay for the roughly the whole hour, hour and a half, whatever we end up doing, it's all good. Just you know, you want to come by, come check it out. We got some good stuff going on, uh, so I'd like to see more of us in there. But uh, anyway, back to the matter at hand. Uh, to the tournament, everyone is here, so uh, we're on the next matchup, obviously. Uh, we guys know the rundown, 100 characters in a tournament by now. Uh, I guess I'll just throw all the rules up on screen here real quick for you guys. And I don't really need to leave them up too long, they've been the same since the tournament has started, so uh, yeah, just a quick rundown, you know, it's all for fun. Vote for who you personally want, not who's necessarily more likely. Always vote for who you would rather have between the two. You only get one vote. Uh, the way to vote, down in the comments, simply type the name of the character you are voting for. You are allowed to vote for both characters by simply typing the word both. Uh, this is a double elimination tournament, meaning a character has to lose twice before being officially eliminated. And then, uh, let's see, uh, re results, if there ends up being a tie, once we determine the winner and loser of each matchup. If there's a tie, we're just going to flip a coin on camera. It's the fairest way to break a tie. And then each matchup is only open voting-wise for one week. So you get seven days once the matchup gets uploaded. You have seven days to get your votes in. Otherwise, if they come in after that, well, simple. They just don't count. All right, that's the rules. Let's get to the rest of the match, or the video, shall we? All right, we back, and we got to go over the results from last week. Another character is being eliminated today. And uh, the matchup, uh, the results are between Master Chief, who was taken on Velvet Crow last week, and the winner happens to be... Where's, there it is, there it is. Master Chief ended up taking this one. 45 votes. Velvet Crow still put up a pretty decent fight, though. 32 votes. I mean, that, that's not bad at all. That's not bad at all for this tournament. So, though, congrats. Master Chief moves on for at least one more match. Because, <clears throat> again, this is the loser bracket. If you're in here, you already have one loss. Which means if you get one more, you're done. But, uh, yeah, congrats, Master Chief. Sorry, Velvet Crow. Um, you, you had a pretty decent showing. Remember, there's 100 characters in here, so... Uh, there's a lot of big name, big contenders in here. So, uh, anyway, uh, that is all for the results. So, let's move to the matchup for the day. Where are we at here? Aha. The match, uh, that kind of got shuffled around, uh, what, recently? With the, uh, uh, obviously, Byleth and the Cuphead situation. And then I ended up replacing those. And then Shovel Knight had to drop down. Basically, the matchup, Shovel Knight from <laughs> Shovel Knight. You know, his series, of ga his games. And, uh, his opponent... Dixie Kong, again, in my opinion, one of the last remaining Nintendo All-Stars. And isn't that what Smash is? So, uh, let's jump into it. So, Dixie's up first, and I made this argument yesterday for Captain Toad. Uh, I briefly mentioned Dixie Kong in that as well. But Dixie Kong, come on, she's a Nintendo All-Star. She was uh, one of the main playable characters in the Donkey Kong Country series. She was a playable. She was, like, one of the main characters. She's still always around. Uh, she's been in, like, some Mario spinoff games, I believe. Let's see. Wasn't she in a Mario baseball game? I'm pretty sure. I don't know about both of them, but I'm at least the second one for sure. And, um, like, she's just always been around, which is great. And, uh, uh, bring up the fact real quick. She was considered for Smash Bros. in the past. Part of the Forbidden 7 in Brawl. Uh, she's supposed to be teamed up with Diddy Kong, so that would have been kind of a unique uh, tandem at the time. Because uh, we only have Ice Climbers. Well, Duck Hunt, I guess, kind of banjo. What I mean by duo is, like, you control one character and a separate character is always kind of following you. Yeah, I know Duck Hunt's kind of on the back of the, the dog. What's the dog's name in Duck Hunt? I don't know. Does the dog have a name? I don't even know. But, you know, the duck is just there as for, like, extra moves. Same thing for kind of Kazooie, uh, but, like, an extra added character, and I think that's how it w they would have played. So, I mean, obviously that didn't work out. Dixie Kong, I don't know if she was ever reconsidered down the line. I don't know if we ever heard anything about that, but a uh, little strange. It, it made sense why she was uh, at least considered, right? Again, Nintendo All-Star, right? So, uh, move set obviously can go the two different routes. Always mention this. Echo Fighter route, probably simple. A lot. There's still quite a bit of people that just go, all right, if Dixie Kong gets in, just make her an Echo Fighter. 
I mean, if that's the way you see her, I, you know, I don't have any, <laughs> I'm not going to argue against that. I'm not going to try to say that your, your opinion of the character and how you view the character played as wrong, because that is what I'm doing for you guys. I'm just portraying how I would, uh, how I view the character being played. Maybe you don't agree with it. That's okay. I, I'm just giving my opinion here, but, uh, yeah, so you could do the Echo Fighter route easy. But I think she works so much better as her own unique character. Again, she'll probably, most likely, share some components, characteristics, whatever it might be, with Diddy Kong. Look, she's going to be the same hitbox, same frame, probably the same running speed and all that stuff. So, look, she'll share probably a couple uh, same attacks, maybe. It might make sense, but, uh, you know, at, at, at minimum, they'd probably use Diddy Kong as the base model and then just kind of alter it from there. But Dixie Kong. Go over some movesets, obviously, big thing, ponytail. Get that involved as much as you can, but don't overdo it, you know? Because, like, that that's that's her uh, kind of like her trademark thing, right, her ponytail. So you could use that, I would say, in her jumps, you know, as she's coming down. Or maybe maybe not uh, her up special, necessarily. But uh, when she actually jumps, you know, you hit the jump button once, twice. If you just hold the jump button, she'll have a similar effect as uh, Peach and Daisy do. Uh, with their floating uh, effects kind of in air, but maybe Dixie Kong will kind of like, she'll float in the air, but she'll kind of be like slowly come back down. You know how Peach and Daisy, they can just kind of like hover and move across screen for a little bit without dropping down. So I think Dixie Kong, she would hover, but she's on her way down. So she's got that, which would be kind of cool. Um, the one thing I've always, I've always wanted to see more of the Donkey Kong Country, the, the friends, and there's so many of them. I wanted to see that incorporated in the moveset. Now, you could do a, a friend stampede sort of thing. I think that could make, uh, it makes a lot of sense. So there's a bunch of older characters. Uh, some of them are Spirits and Smash Bros. Uh, specifically, we'll talk about Rambi for a second. Uh, Rambi's the Rhino. You jump on the Rhino. You just charge forward uh, and just a stampede. Maybe a little similar to Yoshi's Final Smash. You know how you got a whole bunch of Yoshis trampling your opponent. Kind of the same sort of idea here for Dixie Kong's Final Smash, if you wanted to go that route. Or if uh, there's some other idea that you have for Dixie Kong for Final Smash, how could you use the her friends in the moveset of, uh, differently? Well, Rambi, side special, easy, quick charge attack across screen. You know, it's not, it's not going to be... I wouldn't say it's controllable, you know, not like Wario's uh, motorcycle, but it's just you jump on, you press the input to side... Uh, side special, she just, boom, quick charge across screen, good knockback on it, so uh, I, it, that could be fun. But uh, she's got the, um, uh, what else could she do? Uh, she's got the bongos in the jetpack, I think that was in the last picture. But it, uh, it's part of the, the, the DK game. What was that rhythm game with the actual bongos? I, I don't, I never played that one. But um, uh, she's got the bongos basically, and she could use, it's like a bongo jetpack sort of thing. She could fly around with it, easy for an up special there. Uh, but there, there's a lot of good potential with Dixie Kong. Of course, like I said, the ponytail can be used for more than just the hovering as well. Uh, you could whip it. You could actually use it as like the grab. She could use the ponytail and like it, uh, it'll stretch out and kind of like wrap around the opponent and then kind of like brings it in, uh, brings the opponent in a little bit and then do whatever, throw them, slam them into the ground, throw them backwards, whatever it might be. So that'd be a fun, you know, idea, but you got to absolutely get the ponytail involved with Dixie Kong here. So Good potential. She's still a good name in uh, in uh, Smash Bros. Um, I've been trying to think of like a specific mechanic for her, because again, Sakurai emphasized that uh, they were doing that uh, for the entire Fighter Pass, the first one, and most likely going into Fighter Pass two. Most of them, if not all, will have some sort of mechanic in their uh, in their character somewhere. I'm not sure if I could really. I don't think I can come up with something for Dixie Kong. So maybe she just wouldn't be a mechanic e character. She's just character like we have on the roster. There's tons that are just like, alright, they're in the roster and they just have their moves and they do whatever. There's no added special effects. So maybe that Dixie Kong just falls under that category, but uh, I still think great potential here. And how is she just not in the roster at this point? How, how is she not in the roster? Somebody else that uh, I kind of feel should be in the roster, at least category-wise, indie characters. Now, you can argue... All you want, who's your favorite indie character, which indie character deserves it more, whatever it might be. Shovel Knight is still kind of considered like the face of the indies, we'll put it like that. Uh, again, there's so many indie characters that deserve 
uh, some sort of, you know, just to be in the discussion. If Smash Bros, and again, I've said this numerous times, but I always feel this way. I believe the next, next Smash Bros, not DLC, I don't think it's happening for DLC this time. But the next Smash Bros game, I really do think we're going to get an actual playable indie character. Not necessarily a Mii costume, even though the Mii costumes of Sans and Cuphead so far have been great. Uh, I mean, they look just phenomenal. Like, you can't you can't make the character any better than they've done with the Mii costume, right? I mean, the moveset obviously would be different because you're using Mii costumes or Mii, uh, Mii fighter movesets. But costume-wise, uh, look-wise, perfect. They, they nailed those. Those are awesome. Can't wait for Cuphead on Tuesday. Coming out. I'm buying that one easy. Uh, but um, back to Shovel Knight. Did get the assist trophy. Uh, going back to Smash Ultimate on the uh, on the upswing to the uh, to the release of Smash Ultimate. Uh, before you know, we knew the final roster. Obviously, Shovel Knight was on quite a bit of people's list. Kind of say, yeah, indie characters. I think Nintendo will give the nod to him, and we'll get a playable indie rep. Not quite. Shovel Knight got the assist trophy treatment, as we do know, which is still look. I think that is always a big factor that. Anybody that supports an indie character, I feel like that's such a huge thing that people severely overlook or underlook. I don't know. One of the two. But the fact that this small indie studio has representation of their character in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, that is huge. That is big time for their, their, their character, their series, the company. It's just more recognition for the indie developers and the character itself. Just helps expand the, the, the fan base and the user base and all that stuff. That is something that severely gets underlooked. And it's kind of sad, actually. But, um, well, sad to an extent. It's like, all right, yeah, I get you want your character, but, like, come on. Shovel Knight's an assist trophy. That's a big deal. Shantae's a spirit. I mean, yeah, you, some people might not like spirits, but Shantae's still in Smash Bros. Now we have Sans as a me costume. It's like, oh, well, I wanted Sans or Cuphead as a playable character. You still have them essentially in the game. They might not be an actual fighter. They might just be a costume, but they're still in Smash Bros. It's still big. That's still huge. And I think, uh, I don't know, just, I don't know. I, I could go on and on about that. But, uh, you know, as, as for Shovel Knight himself, great move set. He does have his own amiibo. So I guess they would have to come up with a brand new Shovel Knight Smash Bros line of amiibo. Which I'll buy. I, I buy all the Amiibos, right? All Smash Bros. Amiibos, I should say. Uh, so I'd love to add that to the collection. Uh, but he's got great moves that potential. There's something on that last screen. You know, he's got uh, he's got the shovel. can dig up a bunch of stuff. He can slam down. A, there, there's a lot you can do with Shovel Knight. I like it. The final Smash idea was actually super easy. The the night team kind of power up or uh, gathering up and then they just all like attack. Similar to like a Mega Man Final Smash, you know, you get all of them on, on screen and then they unleash some giant attack or whatever. So easy Final Smash move set is pretty fun to make. Uh, he's a really cool throwback to old, uh, old school platformer games, which I mean, like I grew up, you know, I grew up on the platformer era. So it's kind of nostalgic in a way um but uh yeah i i do i really do like shovel knight and i'll be honest if i have only one pick for an indie character to be playable i think right now i would no it's kind of always been shovel knight for me i mean there's other ones i'd like i'd like to see shanta i think she's got great moveset potential cuphead's always been kind of interesting to me sans i've never really been too much of a fan of so sans is a little lower on the list of indie characters that i'd like to see but shovel knight's always been the top character for indies that i want to see but in this case i'm voting dixie kong simply because like i stated yesterday and that's the way i voted yesterday with captain toad it's a nintendo all-star that's still not playable deserves to be playable at this point in the roster look how big the freaking roster is so dixie kong's got my vote in this one let me know who you guys are voting for down in the comments section. Dixie Kong, Shovel Knight, or both. All are great options. Uh, I, I guess that's going to be it for this one. So a quick little sneak peek for Monday. Because, again, we don't do these on Sundays. Because Spirit Board Sunday instead. New Spirits, too. Yes. Let's go. But um, what are we at? Uh, uh, the matchup. The matchup sneak peek is going to be another assist trophy. Springman is coming back from arms. And his opponent happens to be Jill Valentine. The last remaining Resident Evil character in the tournament. So, see if she can advance one more round. Again, she's a spirit. 
but Spring Man's an assist trophy. Who cares? Vote for who you want, right? But that's the matchup, and then uh, we'll get the results for uh, Morgan from Darkstalkers, who's taken on Quote from Cave Story, another indie character. But uh, that is it for this one. Again, you want to you wanna come fight the raid boss? It's happening today, a few hours after this upload. I'm going to make a post here on YouTube about it. I'll probably send out a tweet. Come on. Come fight it. Even if you can only stay for like 10 minutes. I'll get you. I'll make sure you get in and get your get a couple shots off on the raid boss. Or maybe get your butt whooped by the raid boss. Whatever it might be. Anyway, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. And hopefully we'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.